Hey everybody, I'm Kevin, and today we're gonna to talk about trail building. I've been doing a lot of building at the ranger station with an RC crawler course, as well as huge features at Burn Peak. So, I'm taking the show on the road, and I'm starting to do trails and builds for myself, for my own business. Today, we're headed over to the Vard Bike House. It's a themed Airbnb around adventure, mountain biking, and being part of the mountains of Pisgah. The trail we have outside has been neglected. It needs a good cleaning, a shaping, we might even add a feature. As we're cleaning, we're gonna use a few tools like the rake, the McLeod, a leaf blower, and a weed eater. All of these things are battery powered, which allows me to be a zero emissions trail building situation. This is a small project, so battery power is definitely the ticket. Now that everything's cleaned up, we need to head down to French Broad to start picking out some material to build a feature. Walking around the stone yard, I have an idea of what I want. I've been looking at round boulders with lots of moss on them for the visual, and then I also need some flat step style rocks so it can be the takeoff surface from the lip. This rock was actually sourced from a place called Cooper's Creek. We have a variety of style stones that came from that location, and I've actually used these rocks before at the ranger station, so I'm very familiar with the product. So, just showed up on the job site. Let's go check this out. I believe the numbers are 1.5 tons of rock, and then there's another 1.5 in plates, bigger, flatter pieces, more cosmetic. The more boulders have a lot of moss on there, so it's gonna give a real natural appearance. And then the flat stones will help level it as it's building, and as well as being a flat riding surface, it looks really cool on top. And the trail building, one of the things I think that are underestimated is that you need to wear boots, or I really prefer to wear a high top boot for a few reasons. Number one, steel toe, job site, uh, quality boots, or you know, they're, they're, it's policy for a reason, so it's gonna save your foot, especially moving these size boulders. The other thing is it keeps the dirt out of your shoe, out of your sock. Usually when I get home and I wear tennis shoes, I get home and I take my shoes off and my feet are just nasty. I mean, I'm about to get in the shower and wash them, whatever, but with the boots on, my, my feet stay clean. There's not just like, I'm not just like, there's not dirt dust all in my sock when I get out to take a shower. Xander is the owner here of Green Builders, and he decided he wanted to come out and put his hand in his own feature at his own property, and I'm really excited to have the help because six tons worth of material isn't gonna move itself. We just got the first ton and a half rock moved. I'm gonna spare you guys any more time lapse of me humping rock, even though I know you guys super enjoy me doing that. I'm gonna get the rest of it up the hill and then we're gonna jump right in and doing some planning. That was awesome. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in because we have the rocks here and here now. This is going to be a drop. This is gonna be a landing. There's a Sasquatch in between. We're gonna go ahead and jump in here and cut out our shape and get it cleaning and uh, get a landing going.
We're gonna go ahead and start placing the rocks in the landing. So I'm gonna go ahead and snug the rocks up as close as I can to each other. We're gonna filter in some dirt, leaving a little bit of spacing so we can get a little bit of dirt and gravel to kind of lock those rocks in place. And then we're gonna move on to the lip. So that's gonna wrap up the day, guys. We went ahead and got all the rock moved in position, and we also went ahead and got all the landing rocks put in place. Nice and flat ones locked in, a little spacing, ready to get a little bit of gravel in to lock everything in place. So what we're gonna do tomorrow is get the gravel in place. I'm gonna pick up a push broom at Home Depot so that I can get the gravel on there and fill in all those cracks and kind of lock everything together. And then we're gonna move on to the lip, which everybody's pretty excited about. So we'll see you in the morning. So we got water, we got a blower, we got some gloves, and now we are jumping to it. I'm pretty excited because we did all the hard work yesterday. So what's gonna happen today is I get to actually build the feature and building the feature is gonna be dope. So I'm excited to see how this works out. We're actually gonna blend both the rollers into this one feature and lower the, the rollers a little bit. So that's got a little bit more flow coming in from the drop-in over there. So let's get at it. Here was I wanted to build a multi-line feature so you could make a jump you could roll it you could ride like a rock garden so I'm placing these rocks in a very wide pattern so that you could have three or four lines right off the edge of the lip where you can roll it you can jump it you can huck it you can manual off of it you can do all kinds of things with it but I want it to be for every skill set rider up from beginner to about a medium level skill set rider so let's go ahead and get some more of these rocks placed in there to get hot but what we have behind us it's a sweet full rock landing right there pretty stoked about that the uh everything turned out well i laid it down locked it in with some dirt and then i actually came back with the gravel then blew the gravel out and then i put dirt back on top so it's layered really holding those rocks together really well where everything's locked in place now that landing is super solid now this is the takeoff right here and we've got to get a bunch of gravel in here and then, uh, then come back and get dirt from that roller over there. And we're actually gonna repack on the top, make it all smooth, and it's all gonna slope back in to grab into the drain that's over there. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with everything. And it might be hard to tell from here. Let me spin the camera around. And if you see from this angle, you're actually going to have a line that's gonna be all the way this way, big tilt to it. There's a flat that's right here, and there's a tiny rock garden here. Oh, a lot of work, but uh, super satisfying. I'm really happy I'm doing this, and the customer came by and said they were really stoked about it.
The only thing left to do is to ride this feature I just built. I'm super excited, everything's set in, it's been a few days. My friend Colin from Flow Life Apparel came out to do some riding with me. Uh, great a notion right now. Um, here's a Twinkie. These aren't good for you or healthy for you or anything like that. But it's actually important that he's getting a reminder, uh, a reminder of what a Twinkie tastes like because he's been having a long time. But we'll get back to that after we do some riding. He's gonna ride this feature with us uh, and test it out. He's definitely much more uh, BMX than I am, so I'm expecting him to probably be a lot more popular off this thing and I'm gonna have to work into it. But that's all right, so let's get some gear on and get riding. So it looks like everything went super well. We found 10, 12 different ways to hit this same feature that we built. The only thing left to do is to call it a wrap. So make sure you leave some comments below. There's two links down below to show where you can go ahead and grab your reservation at the Bavard Bike House. More golden brown than golden brown? I think that you can roast it however you see that you wanna roast it. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to see some, some effects here. Ooh. Ooh, you're deep in there. That yeah, was pretty quick. Big bar. Mm. Okay, okay. So where's your wrapper at? So I'll take the other side of the um, the wrapper, or the, I'll take the other Twinkie, and you take the wrapper and wrap that around the Twinkie and pull it off the stick. So this is a very important part of the situation <laughs> because if not, you have a burning hot Twinkie in your hand. Totally. Pro well roasted done. Twinkie for a first go, like. Well done there. Ooh, oh yeah. That's the dark side. Mm. Ooh. Not overdone at all. Alright, well let's uh let's get first reaction there. That's really fucking good. Better than the Twinkie earlier? Well yeah. Alright, well um it's on fire, it's good. Maybe a little crispy, but 